Hi, I'm Lang. I will talk about the universal dependency scope and maintenance methodology using downstream application. In a data set where corpus is updated, most people think, but the difference between the previous version and the current version is the update a good change or a bad change for me? And how will the update affect my system? I work to create those questions about UD. UD is a worldwide project that provides cross-linguistic tree bank annotation. The resources and documents are updated every six months. The UD tree bank is maintained on GitHub so we can see all the updates to the corpus. However, due to the large size of the corpus, it is difficult to catch important updates. For example, when the lemma of a word is changed, it is not easy to immediately identify if it is a bug or if all the entries for the bug in the corpus have been updated. We propose a method to analyze whether the various tree banks of UD are updated with keeping validity and consistency and whether the updates have a positive impact. We observed updates of the UD Corpora version 2.0 to 2.7 in 23 languages and extrinsically evaluated the parsing models trained by the UD Corpora in a cross level sentiment extractor. Our methodology allows us to indirectly compare the differences between the different versions of the UD Corpus by analyzing the changes in the output of the application task. First, we introduced two metrics of goodness of copper. The star rating is a metric of the quality of copper themselves for choosing a corpus that suits users' purpose. It is determined by corpus availability, validity, size, and so on. But this measure is too rough and superficial. Last, labeled attachment score is a measure of the performance of dependency parsers trained using the corpus. But does the higher last of the dependency parser really meet the unique corpus used for training is good? When the corpus is more consistent, the last will show a higher score. However, when the corpus gets more precise annotation, the last may decrease. Therefore, by analyzing corpus strong application task, we can evaluate corpus from a different perspective. We observed updates in the UD corpus for 23 languages, version 2.0 to 2.7. Of the 10 fields in the CONU file, we examined updates for six major fields form, lemma, UPOS, feed, head, and depth length. This heat map shows the UD tree banks updates. The color of represents the rate of change from the previous version. When the corpus has been significantly updated, the cell is dark in color. Most languages have been actively updated in version 2.0 to 2.7. In version 2.0 to 2.4, most of the modifications in the UD Corpus focused on fundamental syntax elements, such as post tags and dependency labels, and universal features were implemented appended. On the other hand, in version 2.4 to 2.7, the major update is shifted towards language-specific features. We now introduce our methodology to clarify how UD is updated. By evaluating the performance of application task using UD, we can examine whether the UD corpus has been improved or not from a different perspective. First, we input sentences in a language. Then, as output, we we'll receive sentences with sentiment predicators and targets labeled by cross level sentiment extractor. 
Let's look at the details of our methodology. The input text is passed by a dependencies parser training on the UD corpus. The dependency tree, which is a parsing result, defaults depending on the version of the UD corpus. We input the obtained dependency tree into the cloud-level sentiment extractor. This is a deterministic and rule-based extractor where the sentiment lexicon and rule are fixed. The most important thing is that only the differences of parsing result, that is, only the differences of UD corpus used for training of parser, make the differences of final output. We perform two evaluations. As a quantitative analysis, we compare the relationship between dependency parsing performance and sentiment detection performance. As a qualitative analysis, we found typical of dif differences in sentiment detection results. The figure shows that within a language, the latest version 2.7 achieves better last time F2 scores than the oldest one, version 2.0 in many languages. The removing of bugs using using UD validator and a variety of annotation changes in the corpus contributes to the improvement of both the last and the F2. But other changes do not always improve the scores. It means F2 works as a different measure from the last for star rating. For example, when annotations with complex and correct dependency variations are added, the learning of parcels become difficult and the last decrease. No clear correlations between last and F2 scores can be observed, and that is precisely the motivation for the qualitative analysis. Let us show various examples of qualitative analysis. Giving correct annotations and removing inconsistencies within a corpora improves the performance of parsing and outputs of the sentiment extractor as well like Dutch and Arabic examples. And next, we show an example where the updates in UD Copa have affected unintended parts of passing results. In Arabic, the improvement of the multi-part token labels has influenced other parts of the system. However, it caused overfilling. The model learns that was contained and uh, always multiple tokens and increased parsing errors in the word hotel as shown in Arabic examples. And major changes of tokenization policy significantly affect syntactic structures. For example, UD Japanese adopted short word units in its tokenization policy. The priority was wrongly inversed because the system did not handle this type of negation. To utilize UD trained parsers in application tasks, it is expected to be robust to real world input. In English example, post tagging was not robust enough for an uppercase writing. And the post tagging error was propagated to dependency parsing and sentiment extraction. And a similar issue can be found in German. Known should be always capitalized capitalize regardless of its position in a German sentence. But at known Schneiden was wrongly tagged as because it was not capitalized. Conclusion. We observed updates of the UD Copa version 2.0 to 2.7 in 23 languages. And we showed examples where the updates of UD Copa have either adversely or positively affected the output of dependency parsing and sentiment cross detection. Our methodology is easier to find the changes with sentiment detection. So those changes often show the important aspects of syntax. In some languages, UD Copa updates have been slowed down but there are still open problems in fundamental syntactic structures. We anticipate continuous improvements to Mount Zwinger Copa for UD communities worldwide. 
We hope the emergence of other applications that utilize UD syntax structures will lead to further discussions and enhancement of multilingual corpora. Thank you for watching.